Welcome to the Andy Noise Experience Podcast Endurance Noise Random Musings. It's Saturday night, about 9 o'clock. I think it's uh, September 26th. Don't have it here on my phone. Um, anyways, uh, good training day for the most part. Trying to get back into the running thing. Here I am showing you my Fitbit and my heart rate right now. Sitting here watching alone across the Arctic. This crazy kid doing 4,000 kilometers across Canada's Arctic by foot and by canoe. And he's stuck here. Great Bear Lake, poor guy. But you can see here my resting heart rate's been getting lower and lower. It's down to 53, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, my yearly thing there. Um, definitely, you can see back there when I had my hospitalization back in April where my heart resting heart rate was pretty little crazy. But thankfully, I'm back to health. What I've been really happy with is this sleep thing. I mean, wow, my sleep score is 82. Not really sure why I've been sleeping so well. But I will definitely take it. I've been getting scores in the 80s, which for me is really good. And then uh, I've been actually been sleeping like this week. I've got six hours and 23 minutes. You can see there I've been taking a little bit of a nap too. So that's all good news. And then, of course, I like how the Fitbit just decides what you've been doing. And it's kind of funny this morning. Started off with 27 minute walk. Uh, Blanca slept in, so I was on my own. So it shows me walking for 27 minutes and then running for 11 and then walking for another 46. And my my workout this morning, actually, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I was kind of the Garmin has this kind of uh, Jeff Galloway thing. So that first part was a warm up walk and then working on some cadence. And then I was trying to do a two mile run, um, ran like the first, as you can see, about 11 minutes. And it just seemed pathetically slow. And so I gave up and then walked the last mile or so still had a pretty good time um what is one of my top times that we'll be looking there on training peaks and then this evening i got on my spin bike out in the backyard got a good sweat rode it for about 15 minutes and then i ran on the treadmill doing a swift workout and fitbit actually thought it was a run so that's always good news um so yeah you can see here there's my fitbit um well the run i did on swift did a little three, two, one where you run hard for three minutes, take a break, two minutes, one minute, and he did that twice. It shows I had a lot of achievements. In fact, for me, 1.98 miles, 1507 pace, pretty good. And then there's the exercise bike where I use that Wahoo fitness thing. It sometimes works on Swift, but most of the time it doesn't. So I kind of gave up. And then you can see here's the OG 2.0 was where I, in theory, was going to try and run a two mile. That's what my schedule had for me, but it just wasn't really happening too much. So that was that. Um, then, of course, you know, the Garmin, kind of keeping track of all that stuff. I like this feature here. Um, Garmin VO2 Max is just 34. Um, what does that mean? I guess, uh, yeah, 34 is poor. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not too good, but um, been maintaining. It's kind of all, all kinds of great little stats here. It's because mainly I'm not running very much. Body, battery, stress level, uh, resting 15, da 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 da. Steps. And then I kind of like to scroll all the way down here in the last seven days. 66 miles. Average resting heart rate is 59. I don't really wear it all that time, though. Respiration is 13. I guess 12 is about as low as you can get. So pretty happy with that kind of numbers. So that's my Garmin, the Strava. And then you go here on the training peaks. Shows 114 fatigue, 122 fitness, 5 form, which is all kind of good, I guess. Um, I've got coming up in a week or two, two weeks, I guess, the uh, Burroughs race, 10 mile. Hopefully, I'll we'll walk and run some of it. Not sure what's going on. Got a lot of my friends are going to it, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then, yeah, if you look at peak performances, this evening's uh, run, I actually did a 1422 mile, which yeah, it doesn't sound like much, but hey, I'm at 250, 255 right now. In fact, the past couple days, I've been getting some pretty decent times. The running's finally starting to come back. As you can see, there's a couple Septembers on the um, uh, Swift, on the treadmill. But even then, like, you've got um, um, some other days, like here's this more Swift stuff. But even here, like 922 and 923 was me actually just walking or running. Yo means I was walking. Um, so getting in some top 20 times, nothing too spectacular, but it's all working. So that's my training. I'm definitely focused on doing the 12 hour race in Vegas in a couple, in about six weeks. 
and uh, that'll be a good test to see where I'm at. Wish I hadn't had to skip the 100 mile 24 hour race last week, but I'm glad I did with the smoke and all that stuff. So as always, stay healthy, be boring, not